something sweet. Throw your cares away. Gonna make you laugh. Gonna see you smile. There'll be no tears today. Dr. Booyah, luscious news. Oh, that mirror of mine. <laughs> Away, oh, baby. Oh, August, we really need to do something with that hair. Oh, please. Where's your sister? She's in the kitchen, crying. Thank God I'm prepared. Yeah, thank God for you. You a big help with the hair too. Hi, Willie. Oh, how oh, are you? Good. <laughs> you look like shit. Oh. Are you crying again, though? I mean, yeah, maybe a little crying. I'm just so stressed with this whole shower. I got just the thing for you. You are gonna love this new concealer. Makes you look five years younger. Vicky, I don't need concealer. <laughs> okay, look, I, I need a new life. I didn't see you at mass this morning. I know. Did you do a novena for me? Because I really need one. Of course I did. Talk to me. Something is awry, I can sense it. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I love April, but let's face it, she's a control freak. Yeah, well, totally. Big time. Yeah, and who does she ask to be her maid of honor? Me. I can't believe she asked me. Well, you guys used to be inseparable. I mean, what happened? Well, you know how friends are. You change, they change. You go your separate ways. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes it's good. It's healthy. Especially since you guys used to be roommates. It's so hard to live with someone. Unless you're having sex. <laughs> then it's easier to put up with all the little annoyances. So, uh, you still seeing that guy? What guy? That guy. Blonde, green eyes, great ass. Oh, that guy! Ooh. Yeah! Oh, he's great. Good. What's his name again? Uh, Jordan. His name is Jordan. Jordan. Wait, was that it? Oh, whatever. When do we meet him? You know how I am. I hate introducing him to you guys. Oh, come on, Alex. He sounds great. I love him already. Give me his number. Vicky, forget it. You're not meeting him. What is the big deal? Look, he doesn't like people. I know, I mean, I didn't want to tell you because it's his downfall. In fact, it's probably not going to work out because of his people hating defect. That's weird. Yeah, I know. It's a shame, really. Anyway, I can't believe I said yes to April. This is my worst nightmare. You should feel privileged when someone asks you to be their maid of honor. Privileged? Yes. All I feel is burdened. I was up all night cooking. I couldn't sleep. I had a dream that everyone showed up, and I was naked and unshaven. But my body was covered with olive oil and balsamic vinegar that was supposed to go on the salad. So there was none left for the salad, and April came, and she was complaining about how dry the salad was, and if she would have known, she would have brought her own dressing. You know what? You're driving yourself crazy, and to be honest, you're driving me a little crazy, too. I just don't want it to be a Mary Tyler Moore party, you know what I'm saying? I can't deal with any more failure in my life. Mary had her moments, and remember, with each failure, a stepping stone to success appears at your door. My God, that's beautiful. Where did you hear that? Father Joe said it this morning. <laughs> so was April's mother coming? Yes. Mm -hmm. And her cousin Mary Beth from Albany. Mm. And Paulie's mother. Oh, good. I can't wait to meet her. I heard she's got skin like a baby's ass. She does. Oh, I'll be right back. Hello? Oh, hi. Yes, I made the lasagna. The biscotti's in the oven. Look, I, I did it all. I, I gotta go. I'll just see you in a little bit, okay? Bye. <sighs> Who was that? April. April? She knows about the shower? Yes, but she's gonna pretend that she doesn't. You know her. She gotta get her hair done, her nails done, a colonic, whatever the fuck else she needs to be seen in the daylight. I swear. I think she's just using me because I have a nice house and I cook. She lied to me. I'm hurt. Vicky, promise you won't say I told you she knew. Hmm? Vicky, I know you, you fuck. Now promise you won't say anything and I'll tell you a secret. Okay, I promise. What? Okay, you're gonna love this. Come here. This is where all the good wine is for you, me, Jake, April, of course, and anyone else you might be feeling special about. <laughs> and this is for everyone else. Who loves you, baby? You do. That's right.
Dr. Vu, your lusciousness. Oh. I hate that door makes me look fast. Hey, Jay! Oh. Here, over Remind here. Remind me what the point of this well is. It's a wishing well. Thank well, you for picking it up. All my wishes better come true after the back break. I just got carrying it. Oh, Jay! Mm -hmm. Man, kisses and hugs. Squeezes, squeezes and bumps. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. Wait. So what? What is it? Uh, each girl comes by and throws in a penny, makes a wish. What? I don't no, no, care. no, 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 no. It's for little gifts. You know, the side gifts. As if people haven't spent enough on the real gift, the big gift. No, no, no. It's like for different gifts, vibrators, dildos, oh, toys. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I like that. A wishing well. They sell these things? You wish. <laughs> <laughs> my I'm starving. Let me see it. You're going to die. Oh. Oh, my God, the food. Oh, Alex, can we just talk about the beauty of this food for a second? You are like the Picasso of cuisine. Do you think it looks good, really? I'm just so nervous. I hate showers, all the ooing and aahing, even if they hate the gift. You get four blenders, six toaster ovens, three waffle irons. I think it's just a manipulative way to get gifts. You've got a hair up your ass. What's wrong? She's a little resentful right now. She thinks that April asked her to be the maid of honor because she has the best house and she cooks. <laughs> she's damn straight. April may be a lot of things, but she's not stupid. She, Jake agrees. Oh, come on, you guys. Can we drink and have a good time? I love showers. Someday I'm going to have one. Jake, what have you been washing your face with? You look a little dry. Tea tree. No good. God, that shit's the worst. It'll turn your face into an old leather shoe. Maybe that's why Philip left me. Maybe felt like he was kissing his shoe. Oh, Jake, he was an asshole. But you are a little dry. Yeah, try this for a week. If you like it, I'll hook you up. Yeah, but he was a cute asshole. I need some numbing. Jake, have I got a glass of wine for you? Oh. We gotta do something about Alex. We have to dress her. Look at her. She looks like a chef for you. Don't. Alex, I've got to take you shopping at the mall, honey. There are things in here that have been out for years. No, I'm afraid of the malls. I get mall phobia. I like garage sales. They're open and I could breathe. Yeah, and you buy everybody's out-of-date clothing and you walk around like you're dressed in a time warp. You're right. I don't want to say anything, but the truth is you have money, so why don't you dress like it? I mean, you always look like a chef. Thanks, Vic. You always look like a mannequin in a department store window. So who's come to the soiree today? Oh, well, Sophie, Kelly, Paulie's sister, Spring Dawn. Mm. Spring Dawn? What the hell kind of name is that? Oh, probably a child of the 60s, you know, flower power, that whole thing. No, 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 you guys. She changed her name because she became a porn star. Stop it. I'm serious. <laughs> I can't find anything, Vicky. You look. I always heard she was so wholesome and innocent looking. Those are the ones you have to look out for. Yeah, screamers are bad. They wake the neighbors constantly. Ah! Oh, mama! <laughs> <laughs> Philip was innocent looking. Oh, well, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Jake, you and I should get married. Separate bedrooms. Separate bathrooms. Oh, match made in heaven. <laughs> hey, is Rita coming? Oh, God, I forgot about her. She'll be early, no doubt. Yeah, well, I guess with that carpal tunnel syndrome, she leaves extra early. Why does carpal tunnel make you late? No, I'm just saying it probably slows her down. Too bad it doesn't stop her completely. OK, this should be fun today. <laughs> She'll probably show up with handmade journals and stationery for everyone. Oh, you think? I could use some stationery. And her gift, it'll be wrapped with handmade satin paper, with trees and branches and leaves. And at the end of each branch, there'll be fruit. Oh, we are hating Rita today, aren't we? Yeah, well, she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And she's always trying to outdo everybody, especially me, and especially when April's around. Hey, what do we think of this? Be still my beating heart. That's it? This is it? Yes. Where did you get this? And why haven't you modeled it for me? Oh, you know what? Somebody's here. I gotta go. Listen, you guys, you gotta help me today. I am a wreck. I know, I'm but you have to get dressed. This would fit me. No, no, August, I'll get this one. Hi, Rita. Hi. Mwah. Hi, Rita. Hi. 
You look great. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. How's the carpal tunnel doing? Painful, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't even wrap this gift right. You know, oh. my hands just kept cramping up, but I did the best that I could. Oh, God, that looks just like a Martha Stewart knockoff. In a good way. Oh, wishing well, wishing well. What is it? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Oh, surprise, surprise. Mm. Would you like a glass of wine, Rita? Oh, I'd love some. You're not wearing that today, are you, Alex? Why, are you the wardrobe monitor, Rita? No. Okay, I'll be right back. Who would have thought you'd be such a good host? You really should change, though. You're early, Missy. Alex always waits until the last minute to get dressed. She sweats a lot. Hmm. So, Jake, did they hire you today as the waitress? No, no, the bouncer. And you're looking an awful lot like a rubber ball right now. Oh, good one. <laughs> Here you go. Hmm. I am going to kill her before the day is over. I am going to help you. Hmm. I'm going to go change. Not for you, Rita, but for myself. I'll be back. Mmm, this wine is delicious. Yeah, it's really expensive. Alex went all out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Except on this tablecloth. Okay, I need to change this. Ugh. Just had a hunch, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Uh, people, could you help me, please? <sighs> there we go. Much better. I gotta admit, I like it. Round noser. I need some stationery. Ta da! Wow, Mama. See, now you look great. Much better. Why did you change my tablecloth? It was bland. It really didn't match. I hate that front door. It makes me look fat. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Let me tell you, this change of life is not picnic either. Oh, I'm telling you, the sweats, the insomnia, everything is kind of magnified, you know? Like your emotions, your anger, and your hunger. Oh, my God, look at all that food. I could eat a rhino. She's a great cook. You have to try everything. Okay, I think I will. I've heard so much about you from Aunt Franny and April. <laughs> Alex does this. Alex that, Alex, Alex, Alex. I feel like I know you already. <laughs> like we're family. Well, thank you. Well, we are family. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to meet Polly. I hear he's gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, regular chick magnet. Everyone, this is Mary Beth. This is Jake. Hi. Hi. Vicky. And me. Hi. You all know Franny. Hi, girls. Hello. And let me just say this. April and Polly, the perfect couple. Am I right, Alex? Yes. I'm gonna go check on my huh? biscotti. I'll be right back. Oh. I am gonna have the most gorgeous grandchildren. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Who is it? It's me. What are you doing? I've been looking everywhere for you. Let me in. Kid, she doesn't like that. People watch you puke. Were you sick? No, no. She's just making room for my lunch. You are not gonna believe this stuff. What stuff? Paul Mitchell glue. Glue? And let me tell you, it holds a lot better than Elmer's. You can mold your hair into Mount Rushmore if you like. Hey, sweet. Thanks, Fix. I'll hand this out to the guys in the in the band, you know? It's girl because they like the uh, the sexy hair. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess what are you gonna do to shower, huh? I don't know. I'll find something to do. Oh no, please. Just for today. Don't find anything to do. Just please stay out of the way.
Sarah, come in. Fergus! Who are you? Fergus, you have... Fergus, you have to go home. It's a shower, for God's sakes. It's only women in here. I miss you. I need you. I know, but you have to go home. I love you. You have to let me breathe, God damn it! Sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. How long do you think you'll be in now? I don't know. A few hours, maybe. All right, then. I'll just be out here waiting. New boyfriend? Oh, no. God forbid. It's this lunatic I met on holiday in Scotland. I just said in passing, if you're ever in L.A., look me up. Well, I wasn't home for more than 24 hours, and he shows up at my door with a suitcase. Where's he been staying? With me. I can't get rid of him. You shag someone for fun, and right away they think it's love. You should call the police. He could be a stalker. Oh, no. He may be a pain in the ass, but he's not a stalker. Don't you think that it's, it's exciting and romantic that somebody is so crazy about you that they pound on the door to exhibit their passion? We haven't met. I'm Kelly Shaw, a therapist. Oh! I've always wanted to need therapy. I think you should call me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Okay. Only. Not up. Don't worry about it. You guys men stalk me all the time. Oh, spring dawn. I'm Vicky. Kelly, I love you. Yeah, I um, I played a character named Kelly in my last movie, so. <laughs> I'm Jake. I heard so much about you. Oh, all good. I hope. <laughs> Only good. Hi, I'm Alex. Why don't I take Hi. that for you? Thank you, Alex. Oh. Be very careful. It's um, it's heavy. Oh my um, god. What do you have in here, a bowling ball? <laughs> oh, Dern, is it is it that obvious? I was joking. You got April a bowling ball for her shower? Yeah, it's a, a blue eight-pound Brunswick. It matches my brother's perfectly. <laughs> mm. I'll probably never bowl again. Bowling is very therapeutic. April doesn't bowl. April hates bowling. Yeah, well, she could have fooled us. Every Tuesday night we all go. It's uh it's league night. April happens to be the only one who doesn't have her own ball. Polly thought it would be the perfect gift. You think she'll like it? I think it's so romantic matching bowling balls. Everybody bowls in Albany. That's because there's nothing else to do. Who in their right mind brings a bowling ball to a shower? I don't think she's in her right mind. Oh my God, I hope it's not genetic. That Polly's such a doll, but this one, she scares me. Yeah. She says. Make hay while the sun shines And she says You are a good man And she says With all my heart that I love you He says Don't know if I can I may be wrong, but it's unlikely I suspect Alex has an eating disorder No way You think? I think You think? I could think. Maybe. You think? I think. <laughs> I can't believe she's getting married so quickly. How long has she known him? Ten months. What's so quick? I don't really know a person for two years. Sometimes you don't even know him after five years. Oh, no. I believe when you meet the right person, you know. I mean, it doesn't take that long if it's true love. I mean, why wait? Why not get on with your life together? Yeah. Togetherness. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, believe me. It goes fast. One minute you get married, the next minute you're in the change of life. Aren't you divorced? Yeah, well, that's different. We weren't meant to be together. Yeah, well, how do you know Polly and April are? April's crazy about Polly, and he's crazy about her. Isn't that the way all relationships start? It's time for April. If she wants to have a family, she's got to get started. No one should have children until they've healed their own childhood wounds. Oh, you see, that's why April's ready. She doesn't have any childhood wounds. Well, we had a very happy home. Am I right, Mary Beth? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always had uh, fun whenever I visited. Uncle Louie was never around, but, you know, I heard he was a really nice guy. Kelly! Oh, God. Help me get out of here. Kelly! Get the Come on. Oh, <laughs> Hi. 
Um, where's Alex? Where's Alex? In the kitchen. Alex? Alex? Where are you? Alex, I gotta talk to you right now. Alex? Hey! Alex, I gotta talk to you. Look at this. Can you believe this? I found Bobby's underwear in the wash this morning. Well, maybe he wants him clean, no, sweetie. He's, like, he's cheating on me, you know? We're, no, worse, worse than cheating, Alex. Worse, worse. Underwear strangles the testicles. And we're trying to conceive a baby, and he knows he has to keep his testicles hanging loose. Alex, Okay, 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 we'll do what you want. Devin, what? listen to me. What? Do you think Please he's strangling don't... his testicles on purpose because he wants to not get you pregnant? God, I don't know, but I went completely crazy. I went through every drawer, every closet, every suitcase, everything. I put every last pair of underwear he owns right here in this bag. That's great. <laughs> what are you going to do with all these, Devin? I don't, know. Huh? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. All I know is that they're not getting anywhere near his testicles until I'm pregnant. You can hand them out for party favors if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's what yeah, all the girls want. a good idea, Old right? pair of Bobby's underwear for party favors. Yeah, look, I do, too. Okay. Here, I'm going to get no, you a glass so of wine. I know, I'm not. Thank you. I want to stimulate the ovaries. Okay, great, then I'm right, ready for quadruplets or something. Hey. Whoa, hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Rita, Rita, Rita. What? No, no, thank you, really. I wouldn't want you to worsen your carpal tunnel there. Why do you hate me so much? Well, that's funny. I thought it was the other way around. You are just jealous because April and I have become very close. And uh, you used to be her best friend. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm mad because you stole my best friend away. Girls, 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 come on now. This is April's shower, my future sister-in-law. Just simmer down. Alex, it's true. You hardly spend any time with April, and I, I think you resent me because I took time away from your friendship and because um, April enjoys spending time with me more than she does with Why you. don't you take that tree you brought with you and make like a leave and go? And don't think I don't know I said that wrong. Okay, I can't hear you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Alex, you and Rita should put your differences aside for a couple of hours. For April's sake. Fine. We'll pretend to like each other for April's sake. But I am only doing it for four hours tops. Ooh. Rita, ooh. Fine, I think I can handle four hours. Ooh. Barely. Yeah, me too. April's friends are really high maintenance. You haven't seen anything yet. But I hope Polly knows what he's getting himself into. He's marrying her, not her friends. Yeah, but you know what they say, Dr. Kelly. Family, friends, it's a package deal. You do have a point. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why none of my marriages worked out. How many? Three. Six. <laughs> he says, wanna be your man. He says, my heart that I love you. She says, don't know if I can. She says, don't know if I can. It's a good fucking song, man. It's a good fucking song. Here she comes, here she comes, everyone get ready, get ready, get ready! <laughs> Hey, anybody want to hear my new song? Alright, whatever. Well, Um, Polly, April gets to have you to herself forever. Why don't you stay and have a glass of wine with us girls? <laughs> all right, I guess uh, one glass will be fine, all right? Is that cool? You just fine. One. Mm. Alex, why don't you go get him a glass of wine? Oh, sure, Rita. You want one too, April? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Oh, God, I can't wait to open all these presents. Wow. Okay, so we had the good wine. Come on, I'll show you. You look Gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Oh, yeah, but my skin's a little dry. Oh, come on. Ah. Let's go have some wine. I can't believe this. The 
three greatest inventions in life. Wine, garlic, and sex. Sex? What is sex? It's been nine months. I'm climbing the walls. Oh, see, that's yeah, the great thing about, about being in a steady relationship. If you want sex, it's there, and if not, mm -hmm. you're all over. You sound like a man. Ew. Can we change the subject, please? I mean, I'm dealing with a fresh wound here. Yeah, Jake is dealing with a wound. I mean, no Come sex, on. no relationship, pretty much equals death. Yes, yes. Jake, at least we have wine. And garlic. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> Here's to April and Polly. Oh, thanks, Vic. They have each other. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Al. Oh. So, April. Yeah. You didn't know, huh? So, Polly, what is it in a girl that makes her right for asking? When I first met April, she was just so open and loving, and I, I knew immediately that she would make the perfect wife and mother to all her children. Yeah. My mother thought so, too. Oh! Oh! oh my colleague! Oh, my God, I'm so oh, sorry. Can oh, I get hey. you a new shirt? Oh, Such right. a cleanse. <laughs> I really should be going. Yeah, you really should. Okay. Um, Tell April, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. See ya. Thanks a lot, Alex. Would you think you're gonna get a pre wedding screw, Rita? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Alex, pizza's here. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, we got a Medusa, Pontius Pilate, one Julius Caesar, one Cleopatra, one Spartacus with extra olives, my personal favorite. No, 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 you got the wrong house. Uh, no, no, this is the right house. Uh, did anyone order pizza? I did. Hi. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Huh? I didn't know if you were gonna make enough food. Are you crazy? I was up all fucking night slaving over a hot stove and then I got up and I cooked some fucking more. You wanna look for your own fucking shower? Just say fuck one more time. Okay, fuck. Oh. But sometimes that's the only word that describes exactly. Oh, what you're doing. ladies, ladies. Can you finish this soliloquy a little bit later? These are hot and heavy. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry. Okay, oh. you know what? Just follow me. Come on. Why don't you just put him right here? Kayla! Get out of here, Braveheart! You know, delivering pizzas is just a side gig for me. I'm really a very gifted painter slash tile man slash carpenter. Well, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I gotta tell you something, and I don't want you to get mad at me or anything, but uh, the colors and, and the dark wood in here, it's all wrong. I mean, especially with that gorgeous hair and the beautiful eyes and the complexion, it's just not compatible with the architecture in your house. Really? Well... Quite frankly, the colors in here make for depression. Now, what I could do here, I could lighten up these colors the dark wood, the paint, the tiles make for a more happy lifestyle. Thanks for your observations, but really, Let I know Let me ask you one question. How is your life? I mean, are you a little depressed? Yes. Thank you, Jake. You know, I don't think uh, lighter wood and different paint and all that is going to make my life a happier place. But really, I appreciate it. So here you go. It's a nice tip for you. Thanks so much. Ah, listen, forgive me for trying, right? Yeah. Thanks for the tip. OK. Alex, if you love me, you'll ask him to stay. Are you kidding me? Please, 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 away! Oh, Jesus! Please, get away! Oh, okay. Uh, pizza guy. Oh. Yeah, uh, what's your name? Rocco. Rocco, um, why don't you stay and tell Jake what I need to make my life a happier place to live in? Yeah? Yeah. You see? I knew you'd come around. What's, what's your name? Alex. Alex. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Rocco. That's hey. Italian, right? Right, right. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a, uh, Jewish. Right. I always wanted to be an Italian. I just love, I love Italians. I just, I mean, the whole, the whole heritage, you know, the, the Vatican, <laughs> the Sistine Chapel. I mean, it's all so Michelangelo, you know? Oh, you think? God, would love to meet him. Well, obviously, you've seen Rome. Seen it? Sweetheart, larger than life. We had this fabulous virtual reality night with the guys. Do you know I wept? I actually wept? I mean, can we talk about those ceilings? Well, you know, with me, it's not so much the ceilings, Jake, as it is the floors, you know? It's the, the, the tile just moves me so deeply. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you know, they didn't show the, the, the floors in the movie, hmm. but I'm sure I would have been so deeply moved by those floors, too. So you like tile? I live for tile. Tile! <laughs> sorry. Here, let me show you the house. <laughs> it needs a lot of tiling. Where's Sophie? Oh, she called. She's running late. Her and Sasha had a fight. Uh, I never see her anymore. 
She is so consumed with their relationship. She doesn't go anywhere without Sasha. What's wrong with that? Kelly! Can you at least give me a biscuit or something? <sighs> Kelly! <laughs> It's codependency. Hey, I like codependent relationships. You never feel lonely. Maybe you should go out with Fergus. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we need to find a nice boy for Mary Beth. Oh, Mom. Uh, leave him alone. I don't know. I'm too shy. Oh, men like that, believe me. Look, every woman needs a man. Now, look at April. She waited, she found the right guy. She was always shy. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. She didn't have a real boyfriend for years. But then she met Polly, and she knew right away, huh? Mm. <laughs> so I'm telling you, don't you worry. Your husband is out there somewhere looking for you. You really think so? You bet. Look, you can't change destiny. Whatever's meant to be, will be. I don't believe that, actually. I think you can change destiny. If you try hard enough, you can. What's wrong with you? Nothing. So, when do I get to open my presents? Kelly, please, have a heart. Hey. I love you. Romeo, I'm trying to meditate over here, and all I can see is Kelly. That's fantastic. Can you see me in there with her when you see in your mind's eye? I'd really appreciate it. I'm Fergus. I'm Cookie. Are you OK in the head? You seem just a little out there. I'd do anything for love. She's won me. <laughs> I can't believe men like you still exist. Cookie, please, help me get in there. I'll be forever indebted to you. All right, I'm a sucker for love. I've got an idea. You follow me, okay? Thanks. I've got something for you. Can I go in now? Oh, are you done? Oh, because that's more important than me. Right now. So that's it. Just walk away. You can't handle it, right? I just don't understand why you're making such a big deal about this. Because it is a big deal, Sophie, and I want to finish it one way or the other. I'm sorry I'm late. There, we got hung up. You mean Sasha's a girl? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, I can't believe this. Oh, don't worry. I will be upstairs painting. And you, why don't you come and find me when you figure out what it is that you want? Sophie? Sophie, this is embarrassing. This is my shower. I just wanted it to be perfect. Alex said she could come and paint in the studio. I couldn't live her home like this. We have to finish this fight. I don't see what the big deal is. She's going to be upstairs painting all day. What is so urgent? You had to bring it to April's shower. We're in a crisis. Sasha wants to be exclusive. I don't know if I'm ready for that. This is a crisis? This couldn't wait until later? I don't even know why you came. April, I am here because I want to be here. I am sorry this just happens to be going on in my life right now, but I don't need this shit from you two. Oh. Great. I don't believe this. Honey, I hear those lesbians are just like that. Like what? Nice. Oh, you know, fighting yeah. macho, oh, that oh, mom. All right, Chief. Hey, you for the party, man? No, I'm here for the girl. Sweet. Nice shirt, bro. Kelly. Oh, you know, where's Kelly? Watch this. Hey! I don't mean to interrupt, but where's Kelly? Hey, you can't come in here. This is my shower. Oh, congratulations. I just need to spend some time with Kelly. I haven't seen her for ages. Do you mind? <gasps> You know what? I have such a headache right now that I don't even care. Oh, I'll get some Scottish herbs with that if you want. Oh, so when are you expecting? Oh, I'm not pregnant yet. Oh. So why are you wearing a maternity dress? Oh, oh, no, because I read somewhere that if your body feels like it's pregnant, it can actually become pregnant. You know, power of suggestion. Do you love her? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. I think I do. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Maybe you're scared. I'm not scared. I just don't like to feel smothered. I want to be free and... I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Of course. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I guess I'm just jealous. I miss you. I'm sorry for being late. I don't know what else to do. I know. Polly and I, I hate leaving fights unfinished. She says, don't know if I can. So what do you guys think? Interesting. 
a lot of a lot of pain and feelings. Yeah. That's some sad, sad shit, man. I'll tell you, girls like that. Yeah. Girls dig sad shit. Not Kelly. She's rough around the edges. I need to smooth her out a bit. <laughs> tell you something. Ever since she was a little girl, everybody always fell in love with my Oh, oh right. yeah, like these to honey, but finally you found your true soulmate. Oh, it's Are you excited oh. about the wedding? Are you kidding? She's thrilled. Oh, I love weddings. Me too. <laughs> hey, where are you going on your honeymoon? Italy. Oh, Italy's oh, so romantic. Man. Polly has always wanted to go there ever since he was a little boy. Alex, you're Italian, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, half Irish. Or a lethal combo plotter. <laughs> Have you ever been to Italy, Alex? No. I was supposed to go, but... We never made it. I know I pleased Kelly. That's why she's so afraid of me. It was too good, and she's afraid that she'll get hooked, and then I'll leave her, but I won't. I love her. How do you know when you please the woman? She meows. <laughs> no, it, it's easy. It's easy, Jakey. They, um, uh, they moan, and they scream, and uh, they scratch your back, and then they just sort of quiver and collapse. And sometimes, sometimes, I cry. It's beautiful, man. Oh, man. I want to make a woman cry for my lovemaking. Yeah, my, my, my passion, you know, my, my curvy tongue like that. Yeah, and then I want to feed her some figs and brigitte. Okay, how did we go from painful love songs to figs and brigitte? Same fucking thing, man. <laughs> One week away from being Mrs. Banky, so I can't believe it. Can't imagine getting married again. I remember when you first met him, you called me up and said, I just met my husband. <laughs> and I said, that's great. <laughs> Can I be in the bridal party? <laughs> and Polly's a catch. Oh, he's good looking, he's intelligent, and he's got money. Oh, oh and I'm going to have gorgeous grandchildren. Oh, I can't wait to do your makeup. I picked out all the perfect colors. I can't believe you're getting married. I'm gonna cry. Oh. <laughs> and it's so exciting that you found Polly. You're gonna be my sister. <laughs> Sister-in-law. Oh. No. Oh. I hope I find somebody just like Polly. You are so lucky. I know. I really lucked out. He's one in a million. I hope I find anybody. Someone to make cards for, someone to hold me at night, someone to fold my laundry. Oh. You're gonna be a beautiful bride. It's like being princess for the day. Oh, she's a princess every day. Polly spoils her. He does. He spoils me badly. Do you and Polly ever have any real bad fights? Yeah, but they're always about stupid little things. He's... He's so easy. He's perfect. Well, there must be something wrong. I mean, no one's relationship is perfect. Anybody who says theirs is, is probably in deep denial. <laughs> well, I mean, we all have our stuff, right? I mean, like... Polly's a little upset with me right now because he says I'm a control freak and that I avoid intimacy by, you know, talking on the phone for hours and watching TV and stuff. That is how you are in a relationship. What are you talking about? That's how you were when we were together. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell me nobody here knew. Huh? It's all right. It's history. You're okay now. You're normal. You're getting married. Polly's the best thing since sliced bread and you nailed him. What is she talking about? Ma, I was going to tell you, but it was really, you know, no big deal. Why? You mean it's true? Oh, my God, I'm getting a hot flash. Wait, you two were in a relationship? Yeah. Does my brother know about this? Wait, no. You mean like a real relationship? <laughs> like, a, yeah, like holding hands, kissing, making love, the whole nine yards. Oh. You, no. You were going to marry him without telling him, April, that is indecent and disgusting. Oh, and what you do is decent, Spring Dawn? That is not fair. What I do is acting. It's a job. At least I don't lie about it. It's time for some wine. I can't believe you would do this to me, Alex. I can't believe what you did to me. In front of my mother? Alex, I come on. I can't lie anymore, April. April and I were lovers for five years. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Why did you make me your maid of honor, huh? Did you want to stick the knife in and rip my heart out a little more? Can we go someplace and talk, please? Oh, yeah, somewhere quiet where nobody could hear or see us, like a closet? Alex, come on. Wait, April, April, I want to talk to you. In a second, I Mom. need to talk to you now. Mom, I need to talk to her. Why don't you tell me you had a problem? I could help you. Problem? What kind of problem? Obviously, there was something wrong with you. Now, look, maybe it's a chemical imbalance. I don't know. But if you could have come to me, I would have helped you. 
you. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Mom, you are so screwed up. Hey, I'm not the one sleeping with women. I wasn't sleeping with women, Mom. I was in love with Alex. Oh, God, don't be ridiculous. You're not in love with her. That's ridiculous. No, it doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe not to you. But it was the one and the only thing in my entire life that actually did make sense. I don't know who I'm talking to. This is not my April talking. I don't know who this is. This is me. This is who I always was, but couldn't show you because I was afraid you would judge me. And obviously I was right. April, this is embarrassing. Imagine how I feel. You know what, Mom? For the first time in my entire life, I really don't give a shit how you feel. And that's how I feel. So deal with it. I think you should come and see me. You're obviously dealing with a lot of pent-up rage. We do some great anger work with people like you. Rubber hoses and phone books. Fuck you, Kelly. Wait, wait, wait. What is wrong with you? Why are you so bent out of shape about this? They fell in love. What is so wrong with that? My baby died. Oh, just somebody There's get her off me. That. I mean, I can't believe that you lied to me. I didn't want to. I wanted to tell everyone, but April was so paranoid. Do you think it was a good idea to out yourself in April at her shower in front of her mother? I know you've been holding it in for years. It's just interesting. The timing, I mean. You, you knew? She knew? But you didn't tell me? Vicki, please. She's a therapist. I had to tell someone. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm okay. You trust her, but you don't trust me. Alex, are you okay? I heard you came out and I missed it. Is it true? It's true. Darn, I always miss the highlights. And so now April's getting married to a man. Yeah, I can't believe that. Ugh. She's probably better off. Men are easier. Bullshit. It's true. You show me a lesbian couple that lasts, right? They bring a U-Haul to the second date. <laughs> then six months later, they want to see other people. St. Jude, undo it. Make it not true. Impossible causes, huh? Oh, Alex. I'm so sorry it came out this way, Franny. Yeah, me too. You're like a mother to me. More than I ever had. I love you so much, Franny. Alex, I can't even look at you right now. Maybe you don't know what a mother goes through. Oh, God. Well, now you'll never know, will you? A mother wants what's best for her children. Oh. Why are you doing this to us? Why can't we leave things the way they are? Because I want more. What more? More. The house, the golden retriever, the monogram towels. I want to settle down with someone. Why? I am perfectly happy this way. You were happy too. Six months ago, we agreed. We could see other people if it came up. Yeah, well, that was six months ago, Sophie. This is now. You know, I'm trying to comprehend how you can even kiss somebody that you don't have feelings for. I don't know. It's exciting, invigorating, like a bullfight. fight. A bull fight? You don't love me. Yes, I do love you. If you love me, then why do you feel the need to sleep with other women? I am just talking about being open. So that if I meet somebody I'm interested in, I have the option to explore the situation. I'm not saying I'm gonna go to bed with them. Yes, but that is where you wind up, and you know it. Why don't you go back to the party and maybe find yourself a girlfriend? Have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, uh, once. He had done some ecstasy, so. I don't know if that officially counts. <laughs> April, what are you doing? In your hair. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it just grows out of your head like this. Look, don't do the talking about my hair thing right now, okay? Why not? You know why not. But you look so good, Alex. You're so skinny. You on a diet? Yeah. I'm on that. I'm in so much pain it hurts to look at you diet. You ever hear of it? Are we interrupting? Guy. Oh, ladies. Oh, um, ladies. Could you go do your whole dough thing out there dough? somewhere, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. Listen, Alex, I was thinking, you and me should open up our own little Italian joint together, right? I can make the place look like Italy for real. You could cook. All right, well, I, I'll give it some thought. Yeah, it's good, no? Yeah, but not now. Not like, now. Later. No, but think about it. I'm gonna think about yeah, it, Rocco. I think I had a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, well, Jake and Vicky maybe were giving the blue the first night you were. Yeah, I remember everything, April. That's the problem. It was your birthday. And I took you to that cute little Italian April, place. April, I don't think this is a great time to be going down memory lane, okay? I am in the middle of throwing a party. Yeah, for me, remember? <laughs> So don't you think you could spend just a little time with your guest of honor, please? Okay, if that makes you happy. It does. What would make you happy, Al? I just want somebody who understands me and wants the things I want. I understand you. We've always wanted the same things. No, not always, April. I wanted to have a life with you. Be with you. You didn't want that. Not with me, anyway. No, I did want that. I just couldn't... We're not the same, Alex. What does that mean? I couldn't give you what you needed. What, love? I'm not as strong as you are. I'm not so strong anymore, April. There's so much shit going on out there. The last place we should have to struggle is in love. I had to fight for my mother's love, my father's love, and now your love. I give up, when does it get easy? I don't know. I've been fighting my whole life. Until I met you. Do you know you are the easiest thing in the world to love? I never felt so much love for anyone. Well, I guess love isn't everything, is it? I mean, because if it was, you wouldn't have left me, right? Look, I gotta get back to the party. I'm your hostess, your maid of honor. Congratulations. <gasps> what the hell? I tell you, you could stay. What are you doing? No, are you I, no I, I, was, I was just, I walked, I walked out and I was just, I, 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 I really, I wasn't, I didn't hear a thing. I didn't hear you slap or I didn't hear nothing. Mm. Have you ever kissed a girl? Now, where's the logic there? How's that going to get me pregnant? This isn't working. I need something stronger. <laughs> have you ever kissed a girl? <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes I have to. It's, uh, it's part of the job. What job? Well, uh, I am in the adult film business. <laughs> wow! April is marrying into a showbiz family. God, how I envy her life.
You'll never leave me. I promise. Promise me you'll never leave me. Hi. Alex said you might have some more paint in your room. Yeah, yeah, just hold on a second. Hey, no thanks. Are you a Beethoven fan? Yeah. It inspires my music. I'm a lot like Beethoven in a lot of ways. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. This is my favorite piece for Elise. My, uh, my ex-girlfriend's name was Elise. So I play it because it reminds me of her, you know. I miss her. I know what you mean. I had an ex-girlfriend named Elise, too. No oh, shit. Yeah. She was beautiful. Yeah. Mine, too. She had, um... Long brown hair and almond eyes. The biggest lashes. Mm, mine too. <laughs> mine had this um, heart shaped mole on her left, left ass, ass cheek. cheek. Yeah. She lived at 345 North Harper, Harper Apartment B. Get, Get the, the fuck, you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. There's so many girls out there batting for both teams. I'm I'm cool with that. I mean, I actually I think that's actually I think that's really fucking hot. But and you and Lise, that um that must have been hot, woman. Oh yeah, it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go get you some paint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when can I open my presents? So, um, listen, I know that you knew. What? The shower. I know that you knew. Alex told me, but you gotta promise not to tell her that I told you that I knew because then she'll kill me. This is like an oasis. Where's your hair, Marcus? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, my sanctum sanctorium. So, how long you know Alex in April? About six months since me and Sophie got together. Alex seems really cool. April, I don't really know about. I don't know. April's really cool. You just gotta take the time to get to know her, you know? Now, her and Alex are really good together. I think uh, sometimes you just don't see how good something is when you're in it. You know what I mean? I think. Kind of like you don't appreciate someone until after they're gone. Um, paint. Lots of it. Thanks, August. My pleasure. Paint well. Damn, that is one sexy lesbian. Wonder if she bats for both sides. <laughs> Thank God I found you. Jesus Christ. Are you going to stand guard while I go to the loo? Yes. Fergus, you're driving me mad. That's the point, isn't it? Not mad in a good way. You told me there weren't going to be any men here. There are weirdos everywhere. Why are you even mixed up with these people? You're meant to be a therapist. Notice behaviors. These people are my friends, and I like them, and I like my life just the way it is. When people appear to be normal, I don't trust them. Is that why you don't trust me? You are anything but normal. <laughs> I don't understand you. You invite me to Los Angeles. I fly over 5,000 miles to be with you and you avoid me. I even wore my Uncle Johnny's lucky shirt. We don't even know each other. I was on holiday. I just said, if you're in LA, look me up, not lock me up. I feel as if I've grown a tumor and I can't get rid of it. And by the way, I hate your shirt. 
Don't hurt my feelings, Kelly, comparing me to a tumor when all I want to do is be with you. And what's wrong with my shirt? Sometimes things just don't turn out the way you want. I don't know why you're so serious. We only spent two or three days together. It's stupid looking and the colors are dreadful. Two or three days, yes, but they were spread out over a week. And the colors are cheery. It still doesn't make for a relationship. But it's the start of one. It's got to start somewhere. We had something really beautiful. You invited me over here. Why did you do that if you don't love me? Come visit me and come live with me, marry me, and have my babies are two different things. You do want to have babies, though. Yes, I want to have babies, but not now. Oh, wait. And not with you. <laughs> you will. You'll see. We'll have beautiful babies. I am really hurt, April. I mean, is Alex better than me? Does she satisfy you? I mean, as a friend? More than I do? You know, I handmade 150 invitations with antique gold ink. I just do a lot for you, that's all I'm saying. I know you do, and I appreciate it, thank you. But this isn't a contest, Rita. Alex was my lover, and you're my friend. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, you're right. There is. I understand that I'm your best friend. And she's just your ex-lover. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, thank heavens that's cleared up. <laughs> Ooh. Are you still in love with Alex? I always think I'm gonna be okay. And then the second I see her, my whole body gets weird. That's because you're not over it. I know, and I hate it. Why do you fight it so hard? Because I don't know if I could really do it. You know what I mean? Commit to her and me forever. It's scary. You're doing it with Polly. That's different. Commitment, it's commitment. Men, woman, dog, child, I should know. I can't even commit to a shopping list. I don't get you guys. <laughs> I wish that someone would want to commit to me. I mean, I'm so tired of the single scene. It is brutal out there. Yeah, I remember. Alex and I did everything together. But what I miss most is just being home. She'd make dinner and we'd rent a movie. And then she'd usually fall asleep on my chest. You've got to tell her how you feel. She's right, honey. You're still in love with her. Just look at you. I don't think that matters anymore, Thanks. you guys. Things have gone too far and I've hurt her so much already. Anyway, I'm marrying Polly next week. You can't marry Polly. Do you love him, April? Yeah. I love him. I do. It's just a different kind of love. Okay, you cannot marry him unless you are in love with him. All right, what is he, your runner-up? I mean, I can't call it off. I have to go through with it. Besides, I, I, I do love him. I, I do. Bullshit, okay? Do not do this for the wrong reasons. Listen, I, I am the... The last person who would tell you to go be with Alex. But if you love her, you have to tell her. April, there are guests here who came to see you, and here you are in the kitchen. That's very rude. Forgive me for having a private moment, Mother. Oh, there's no need for a sarcasm. Am I right, Rita? Mm. April, we have to talk. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm having a breakdown. I found a lump in my breast. Benign, thank God, but who knows? <laughs> hey, I don't know what's going on, you and this, and well, I don't even know you anymore. Oh, Mom, you know me. And I know you. And you know that God forbid this lump was serious, I would be there for you. I love you, Mommy. 
Even if you can't accept me and what happened. Sweetheart. You have to go to confession. Gayness is a sin. You know it. I don't even know what Father Joe's oh. going to say about this. <sighs> Mom, I'm so confused. I love Polly. I do. But I love Alex. Oh. Can you figure this out in just a second? Alex? Yeah. It's April. Um, okay. There's someone out here who says that you hired her. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Excuse me, Alex, who is this person? Oh, Roxy, this is April. Oh, I heard all about you. It's your shower, right? Right. Happy shower. Splash a little of this on your breast at night. will drive his ass wild. Trust me. No one has been able to resist me yet. <laughs> Where can I set up, sweetie? Oh, right down there. Oh, OK. Set up what, sweetie? Oh, I, I hired some live entertainment. I thought it would be fun. You slept with her, didn't you? You did. You got that smirk on your face, that stupid little smirk you get when you did something and you can't lie, so you just that! You just smirk! For me, it was for you, Alex. April, I'm leaving. This has been a very upsetting day for oh, me. Oh, no, Mom, you can't leave yet. I don't even know what this is. These people are a bunch of freaks. Mom, these people are my friends. Well, they're a bunch of freaks. Going. Oh, as it over. Am I that late? I missed my connecting flight at Phoenix. Uh, no, no I just uh, came out for uh, some fresh air. <laughs> and to fix this bow. Hi. <laughs> Great to see you. You two, are you all right? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. Great. Well, let's go in then. I can't wait to see my daughter-in-law. Oh. We're so lucky, aren't we? Get a drink. I just, I don't know what to say. I, I feel terrible. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, Franny. You have a beautiful, loving daughter. You should be proud of her. Proud of her. She lied to Polly. She was scared. What's the big deal? She's with Polly now. That's the important thing, isn't it? Doesn't it bother you? That she used to be with a woman? I know April, I know Polly, they were meant to be together. And they are, so whatever's happened is history. Let's live in the now. Be like me, don't worry so much. So you're a lesbian? Yeah. Why? I was born that way. Maybe you just haven't met the right man. Maybe I just haven't met the right one. 
I don't think you can really be in love with the same sex. It's not scientifically possible. Well, how do you know you're in love with Kelly? Are you kidding? Whenever I see her, I get an ache in my heart, my stomach goes all queasy, my head rushes with visions of all the things I want to do with her. I'd do anything for her, take any risk just to be near her. Well, that's how I feel when I'm in love. We're no different. I mean, shouldn't it be about two people falling in love? If it's a man and woman, yes. Okay, let me ask you something. Why are you attracted to women? Because they're beautiful creatures. Every one of them's so different, with their hair, and their skin, and their bodies are so sensual, like sculptures. And every one of them's got a different scent. Plus, they're sensitive and nurturing. Well, why do you think I'm attracted to them? Because you're a lesbian. Oh, my God. Oh, Alex! Alex! Yeah? I need to ask you a question. OK. When did you first realize that you liked girls? <laughs> well, um, it was high school. And all the girls wanted to have a sleepover party and watch Dr. Zhivago. Oh! So there we were, enveloped in the movie, and all the girls were saying, oh, my God, don't you wish you were kissing Omar Sharif? And I said, kissing him? Honey, I wish I were him. <laughs> <laughs> she loved me. She really did. And I loved her so, so much. I just hope she knew. She knew. Believe me, she knew, sweetie. I can see her right there in the painting. And it's like she's trying to talk to me or something. <laughs> There's so much she never told me. We never even got to have one conversation. <laughs> I love my baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to get out of here. I have to go. Never ever been with a girl? What's it like? Uh, lips are lips and tongues are tongues. You know what I'm saying? It's really about the soul, baby. I think I would be scared. Uh, men scare me. I think a woman would terrify me. Believe me, men are scarier. Do they scare you? I hate them. Then why are you with them? Uh, I love them. Their bodies, their strength. Oh, they're beautiful. And they're simple. I think women have beautiful bodies, too. Oh, they do. I just can get it right with a woman. They're a pain in the ass. Too much emotion. <laughs> Your period, her period. Las mujeres son complicadas, ¿entendés? I just want to be with somebody who's sensitive and romantic and wants to talk about real stuff. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh, I know what you mean, honey. But you're going to need a woman. Because you ain't going to be getting all that sentimental bullshit from a man. Hi, I have a delivery from Sweet Lady Jane. It's about time, honey. I'm dying for something sweet. <laughs> sweet Lady Jane, it's my favorite. I'll make a note of that. Alex, the cake's here. I'm getting wait just looking at it. Let me take you away from all this madness, Kelly. <laughs> Are you going to save me and make my life all better? Absolutely. Why can't you just accept that I love you and you love me? I said wedding shower, not baby shower. Miss... Well, I don't care. Whoever took the order is an idiot. Miss, can I talk to her? Oh, I see. OK, yeah, she's here. Uh, hold on, they want to talk to you. Okay. Hey, baby. Where you been all day? Oh. This whole day is a disaster. Look at the cake. Oh, who, who's having a baby? Nobody. She wrote the wrong thing. Oh. Oh. That crazy girl with the other horse sees that? She's gonna go loca! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Listen, listen, listen. I just got fired! <laughs> It's my first week and already they fired me. I can't even hold a job for more than a week. I I, I thought you said baby shower. I, I guess because I want to have a baby so badly. Who's having a baby? No one no, no is one's, having a baby. No, no one's having a baby. The baby didn't tell me. If no. anyone here is pregnant, I want to know about it. Alex? What, honey? What? She brought the wrong cake because she wants to have a baby. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I have a baby. I love babies. Oh, I have a baby. You did? Beautiful baby. I have pictures of oh, her. Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. She's <gasps> dead. This is the worst.
worst day of my life. I know. She's fine, man. Knock yourself out. What do we got? We got pizza. We got peppers. We got salad. We got some of this. Oh, you're good. We got sauce. No, that. You're good, Alex. Oh, she's fine. She's a great painter, too, huh? The kid's gonna be good, too. He's just a little bruised up, that's all. Everything's under control. Everybody can go back inside now. Oh, thank you guys so much. Yeah, from my own personal experience, uh, tequila and matches can be a dangerous <laughs> You remember thing. that. Yeah, tequila and lighter fluid are about the same thing. They really are. Both are flammable, are. both are combustible, yeah. all right? When okay. you play around with either, you're just asking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. She so, won't do it again. All right, have a good hey, day. Hey, listen, listen, you guys, why don't you stay? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. So. We gotta get the no. fire truck hey, back. Why not? We've got to honest. What's wrong with the bike on her? If we get paid, we'll leave. You know, guys, it's not really appropriate. Come on, look at I made so much I'm food. I feel so bad. You came all the way here and. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just for a little while, all right? But you just remember you're still on duty, right? You. Still on duty. Room, okay? I'll show you where it is. Come on. Just. Can I ask you something? Sure, sweet cake. Did you and Alex ever sleep together? Listen, there was only a few times. Alex was still hung up on you. Your girlfriend. I can tell you, if she came back around, oh, she's so fucking good. I wouldn't be kicking her out of bed. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. You slept with her. Why are you so upset, honey? You guys are not together anymore. How many times did you sleep with her? What do you care? I can't bear the thought of some other person touching you, especially some gorgeous blonde thing with the body of death. Roxy was there for me. When you left me, she sang songs, Spanish songs, in bed to me, and she made me feel like I was beautiful. Do you ever think about us, Alex? I mean, you know, about us getting back together. Oh. That's brilliant. That's just brilliant. What? What are you getting so upset about? Are you asleep? You left me to be with men. Do you remember? You couldn't deal with the lifestyle. So you kicked me out of your life, picked up the first guy you met, and you got him to put a ring on your finger. And now you're making a pass at me. Do you see the irony here? I, I know it's crazy, but I just... Well, now that it's out and everyone knows, I just feel like... Wow, maybe that wasn't so bad after all. I mean, nobody even cared except for my mother. I never stopped loving you, Al. I just didn't know how to love you. Yeah. Well. What I'm trying to say 
realized that I would like to finally love you like I always should have. Openly and honestly. You can't do this to me, April. This is not okay. I I don't need this right now. What, would you prefer that I wait till after I'm married and then it's too late? No. You're not gonna pull this shit on me, okay? You broke your own heart. And you broke mine too. But you cannot walk in here a week before you're getting married and think that now that it's out and you're feeling pretty okay about it, that I'm just supposed to say, okay, let me take your order now. I can't. I am sorry, okay? This kitchen is closed and the chef has left the building. Hi, sweetie. My life didn't turn out the way I thought it would. Ooh, you never know what God's gonna throw down, huh? Mm. <laughs> I really screwed up, Mom. <laughs> I love her so much. Honey, I can't understand what you might be feeling for Alex. But I hope you know that your happiness is all that matters to me. so much to me. Now, you want Alex back? Yes. We'll get her back, okay? Oh, I, I brought you a present. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, it seems angry. I'm expressing myself in a positive way. It also seems uh, sexual. <laughs> Well, I'm pissed and horny. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> oh, hi, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hey, it's your house. <laughs> I uh, brought you some wine. I thought maybe I got some. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, thanks for letting me pay, for making me feel so welcome. Oh, my pleasure. Wow, you are a gifted artist. Thanks. I hear you're a chef. That's an art. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Whatever you're passionate about is art, you know? Mm. Love making. That's a definite art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about you and April. That must have been hard. Yeah. Hardest thing I ever went through. You know, if it's not going to work out with me and Sophie, I just want to know now. Yeah, why prolong the agony? I mean, if I didn't know it was going to work out with April and I, I would have never invested so much in my heart. But how do you stop it, you know? I mean, your heart, once it opens, I mean, it's so hard to close, you know? I just don't know if I can handle another breakup. This year, this reminds me of when I was a little girl. I always had this vision of this princess coming and saving me. That's what that reminds me of. What are you doing? Painting. You guys were kissing. No, we weren't. <laughs> and what if we were? I'm allowed, right? Isn't that part of our deal? Alex, are you up here? Hmm. Hmm. You're not allowed to kiss anybody else. No, but you are. It's different. I'm Spanish. I can't help it. It's in my blood. Well, I'm Filipino, and I don't give a rat's ass, huh? You know, why don't you just go? I'm through with you. Oh, yeah? Are you sure you're through with me? Yeah. This is nice. This is really nice, huh? Wow. <laughs> that was, wow. <laughs> I'm so sick of settling, you know? 
It's like, I want it all or nothing. Hey, me too. I don't blame you. But I mean, you were great. That was like, that was great. I wish I could be as strong as you. <laughs> don't kid yourself. You are. Oh, not. I'm famished. Can you just get me some of those uh, dishes I've been hearing about? You make, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll... I'll send you up some food. I so. Can't wait to see this painting when it's done. I'll give it to you. See you later. You know you are. In serio. Okay. Yes. I must I'm bisexual. <laughs> you buy me something and I get sexual. <laughs> Alex said you might be uh, a little hungry. Thanks. Wow, well, that's that's. Uh, you know, I, I I I'm a painter too. I uh, I mean, I do houses. I'm not like you, but. Cool. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? You ever been to the Vatican? Mm, no, but I've dreamt about it. Oh man, it is so gorgeous. I mean, I stood in the middle and I closed my eyes and I, and I could feel the energy of the men who built it. You know the. The passion that lives in the walls. You look at it and it makes you cry. Uh, when I look at your painting, I can feel the passion that you put into it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You ever kiss somebody you don't care about? <sighs> you kidding me? All I do is kiss on strangers. Well, would you kiss me? I mean, it doesn't have to mean anything. I just, I want to know what it feels like. Yeah. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? No shit. Is that a fig? Yeah, with prosciutto. It's my favorite. I think I love you. Ah, oh, it's crazy. I think I do too. What's your name? Sasha. Oh, Sasha. It's so beautiful. I'm Rocco. Oh, Rocco. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's great. Oh, my God. Oh, excuse me. What kind of underwear do you wear? <laughs> Man, my mom liked to call them tidy whities guy. Excuse me, what kind of underwear do you wear? Excuse me, I don't think that's an appropriate question. Mama's boy. Hi. Hi. What kind of underwear do you wear? Underwear? Yeah. Usually I wear a sport doll, but I've been developing a rash that has oh. been... What kind of underwear do you wear? Uh, none, ma'am. I don't believe in them. Oh, no, no. I like to be raw the way God made God. me, you know? Swing loose. Yes. Swing low, sweet good. chariot. That's good. Loose hose always goes. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You're coming with me. Uh, am I about to put out a fire? Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, uh, is pink positive or negative? Positive. Somebody killed the bunny. I knew it. Who's pregnant? <laughs> Don't look at me. Please, it would be immaculate conception. Oh, I swear it's not me. God forbid. Well, it ain't me. Thank God. Alex? Are you pregnant? Yeah, I am. Did you get inseminated? No. I actually slept with this guy a couple of months ago and... What? That's insane. I was curious. I wanted to see what you left me for. I gotta tell you, I still don't get it. I can't believe you. I didn't plan it this way. But I'm keeping my baby. <laughs> A lesbian can get pregnant and I can't. <laughs> I can't believe this. You're gonna have a baby? Yeah, I'm gonna have a baby. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be an uncle. And I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna. What am I gonna be? You're gonna be an aunt. I'm gonna be an aunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be an aunt. <laughs> I can't believe this. You're gonna have a baby. Hi. Hey. Polly Mancuso's back. You always have your height. I you. find decoupage really helps with the healing process. You're right. We're always looking for a few good firefighters. You are. Call me. The first session's on the house. Oh, she's going to get drunk. Forget all this shite. So fuck are you? We'll get over it. Uh -huh. Polly, you always have your family. I love you. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Is everybody here drunk? Where's April? Oh, the grandchildren. <laughs> He's so cute. Honey, what the hell is going on here? Are you okay? We have to talk. Wow, you're leaving me for another woman. Oh, I hope you can understand this. It's just, I've never loved anyone in my whole life like I love her. And I have to try to go back. Oh my God, so. Uh, I mean, I guess it's better than This is better than another man, right? I mean, I can't compete with a woman. Right? Yeah, really. It was you. It wasn't me. I understand. Kind of. I've got an idea. I guess this means we're not getting married. What do you want me to do, Polly? Marry you? And in the back of my mind, I always wonder what would have happened between me and Alex. Come on. You deserve way better than that. I don't want that. I'm just upset, all right? I don't want you to be with me if you don't want to. A little hard to swallow. I need a drink. The good one's behind the fridge. Dolor 
Te entrañas violento de un soldado abandonado. ¿Sí? Sí. Uh, I don't know what the hell you just said, but it's making me feel a whole lot better. Shh. I have experience with helping victims get over rape. Oh. Can we write with some sonata come to you and sing Spanish songs? Dame la repancha de amor. Solo te que la rumba salud. Dame una noche. When the moon reaches the peak of night. She doesn't know what a big mistake she's making. Oh, no, no, no. This is not a mistake. My April is acting from her heart, and I'm very proud of her. And she's living in the now. Yeah, Mom, maybe you should try it. So, don't worry, Mom. I, I think the uh, whole thing's a blessing in disguise. I got to get home and brush up on my Spanish. Let's go. Bye. OK, everybody. It's showtime. OK, give me up. Oh, my God, Vicky. Are you kidding? I'd do anything for you. I love you. Hurry. Hurry, everybody. Oh. Oh, me too. Mm. Mm. Uh, they're waiting for us. Oh, is it ready? Yeah. Help me carry it. Careful. You are going to love Italy. I can't wait. Oh my God, what are you guys doing? Here. Okay. <clears throat> Bear with me, because I've never done this before. <sighs> Alex, my one and only true love, will you marry me? Have somebody else's baby with me? Be my best friend? and my soul made until the end of time. I can't believe you're doing this in front of everyone. Well, believe it. I want to be true to myself. And I am so proud of us. <laughs> so will you? <laughs> you bet your ass I will. <laughs> See, that's what I've been saying all along. They're gonna make great moms. I've never been prouder. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> 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 